Here's the Westinghouse transistor radio that I'm going to replace a couple of electrolytic capacitors. This is the back cover of the radio and this is the stickers that are on the cover. And you can see that this model is an H655P5. Now here's the wiring diagram of this radio and all the way over to the left is our antenna rod and you can see that the antenna rod is hooked up to the base of the first transistor. This part of the circuit that's in blue that's the oscillator and it is connected to the emitter of the same transistor. Now these two frequencies mix together to make four major lobes but we're only using one and that's because the IF cans are tuned to 455 kilohertz. This signal goes through the first IF and then to the base of the second transistor or the first IF amplifier. The output of that is amplified and goes to the second IF and the output of that IF goes to the second IF amplifier and first audio. Now the output of that stage goes to the third IF. On the other side of this you'll see the diode that's connected to the secondary. This diode detects the AM signal and it goes back and ends up on the volume control which is connected to the emitter of the second IF amp and first audio. And the output of that is sent over to the driver transformer which drives the push-pull outputs. Now if you want more detailed information I recommend these three videos and I have supplied the links to each of these videos in the show more of this video. I have two electrolytic capacitors left to replace and this is one of them. This is a 75 microfarad capacitor and this one is a 10 microfarad capacitor. But before I replace these capacitors I recorded what this radio sounds like. So let's go listen to that recording. I watched the flag pass by one day. It fluttered in the breeze. A young Marine saluted it, and then he stood at ease. I looked at him in uniform, so young, so tall, so proud. With hair cut square and eyes alert, he'd stand out in any crowd. I thought how many men like him had fallen through the years. How many died on foreign soil. Welcome back. How many well, that recorded sounded a little mushy and a little bit distorted. Here I have replaced the 75 microfarad capacitor with a 47 and 22 microfarad capacitor in parallel. And the reason for that is that's what I had on hand and the closest I could get to 75 microfarad without going over. And here I have replaced the 10 microfarad capacitor with a 10 and notice that I put a piece of paper around that wire. That's so if I slip with the soldering iron I don't burn that covering on that wire. Now that we've replaced the electrolytics capacitor, let's listen to the radio now. Ability to get a perspective. Just one of the many reasons you need to talk with a financial advisor such as John Stillman who can help you think about all those different aspects of uh, contributing to your uh, kids or grandkids college education and all that kind of thing 800-545-2991 that is 800-545-2991 call or text get on the calendar for uh, our listeners to uh, attend some of these events yes we do and uh, so we want to invite the listeners to uh, call in on a different phone number from my office phone number if you would like to come to Ruth Chris and have a nice meal with us and then we talk for about 35 minutes about what we do and how we handle the investment strategies different from uh, people who are in their 30s and 40s when you're within 10 years of retirement or in retirement. 
Now the radio is performing as it should. When you take the back off of this radio, you see the foil side of the circuit board. And the reason why I replaced the capacitors as I did is because of this. This is the before and after picture. Thanks for watching.